I'm ready. All right. Can you have both alcohol and fitness? Sort of. Uh, hard alcohol is about 60 calories an ounce. It performs no function in your body except to hurt you and get you buzzed. Um, so if you did four drinks on a Friday night, you're talking about 240 calories. And if you did that on Saturday, you'd be fine. So you could do it and it have a minimal impact if you could do it in that moderation. Unfortunately, I go out all the time and people don't do it in that moderation. So there are other alternatives we're going to talk about today if you don't have the discipline for that moderation. And remember, everything in life is about discipline. I've been going to the gym 42 years. That's 32,000 hours. And I can't tell you how many times I hear people, I don't have time. It's about discipline. And I'm happy I spent that 30,000 hours. And I'm happy I don't drink because it shows up on my life. So gotcha. it's a big sport. Gotcha. How bad would you say alcohol is? It's very bad. If you add up fentanyl, cocaine, meth, all together, alcohol kills 10 times as many people. But unfortunately, it's socially acceptable. I have personal experience. Three and a half years ago, I went to the ER with a 0.4 blood alcohol. I drank 10 bottles of wine a day for three months. I was medicating. I did it better than everybody. 80% mortality. And it didn't get me. But I don't drink anymore now because I did it too much. Mm -hmm. So would you say that there's different things specifically that are like bad about it in regards to people's personal experiences? Yes. It prevents fat burning. Two, mm -hmm. usually when you drink it, you co-ingest it with mixers that have a lot of sugar. A daiquiri can be a thousand calories. Mm -hmm. A pound of fat is 3,500. So one daiquiri can put on a third of fat, third pound of fat. It disrupts your sleep. Now, if you're going to train, you make your gains during rest. And when you're drinking, you don't sleep. So you're not going to make gains. Sleep is so important to everything. Alcohol affects your hormones and creates cortisol. And cortisol is a stress hormone. And alcohol gets it going. And then the last thing is it pr promotes binging. So people drink and then they come up two in the morning at Taco Bell and, and, and these places and they ingest 2000 calories of empty calories. So that's, that's kind of the challenge. Why it's so bad for you. It's all these things combined. Gotcha. If you were going to drink, what would your tips be to maximize fun with fitness? Stick to trait liquor, either vodka, rum, whatever you like, stay away from wine. It's full of sugar and the mixer is sugar free. Diet Coke doesn't kill anybody, so Coke does stay away from sugar. The second thing, have as few drinks to get the job done. What I mean by that is don't eat ahead of time because now you're diminishing the effects of the alcohol. Go into it with an empty stomach and moderate drinking. Have one drink and moderate over the evening and then stop your drinking about two hours before the end of the night so it doesn't disrupt your sleep. It's about discipline and moderate. So you get all the fun of the, the, the buzz, but you don't have the side effects. Be active. Be dancing. Burn the calories at the party. That is a great way to offset it. And the last thing I said again is don't binge eat after. Do your best. Have a keto burrito. Have something like that after where you're not dumping all these calories. When would you say would be a good time to stop? I'd say about one in the morning. You know, that's a good mm -hmm. time. to. Stop. Oh, let me say one thing. I do this channel to make a difference in your life. I've learned many things the hard way. I don't want you to. Please like and subscribe. We love your support. What is your personal experience with alcohol? I'm happy I don't drink anymore. I'm around people that drink all the time. And they have hangovers and they're tired and they're not productive the next day. I don't have any of those problems. I go out three nights a week. I'm around drinkers all the time. And the way I do this is I use gummies. And a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like gummies. I have two gummies a night. It's about 20 calories. I have no hangover. I don't regret what I said the night before. And I don't have drama. It's magic. But a lot of people, for some reason, socially think alcohol is okay and marijuana isn't. Marijuana is legal. 
and it's by far better in everything, not to mention all the death and the harm that comes from alcohol. So gummies are a great alternative. So that, that would be the best alternative to alcohol, you would say? In my opinion, yes. Gotcha. All right, great. To close out, I want to share that I'm having a January 1 fitness challenge for the first quarter. And this challenge is all about a PR that creates a habit. And we are. I'm offering a 15-minute Zoom on any new customers that do the keto burrito uh, in the month of, of January. I can give you tips that will help you obtain your fitness goals without even knowing you're compromising. And letting go of alcohol, though it's scary and it's not social, it's the greatest thing I ever did in my life. And if you saw pictures of me back when I was fat, and I was fat, I gained 60 pounds from alcohol. It was horrible. It was all negative. And now my life is lovely. So personal experience, get off of it and use gummies, and you'll thank me in the long run. And if you're not willing to do that, at least do moderation and listen to my tips. All right, great. Thank you, Rachel. Have a great day. You too. Bye.